guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm making a starflower shirt. I'm going to do the starflower starting at the corner. So I'm going to fold the hem of my shirt up to the side and then fold it back again. As I'm going, I'm keeping my shirt, trying to keep anyway, my shirt folded and some of the wrinkles out of it. I'm going to turn my shirt over and fold the other side back. I'm folding my sleeve up so that it will fold into the rest of my shirt. I'm folding my shirt down one other time, turning it over and making the same fold on the other side. So when I'm making my folds for this star flower, I'm folding to the same side of the shirt each time. As you can see right here, my shirt kind of came unfolded when I turned it over. So I'm just fixing that and making the other fold that I made on the other side. One side of my shirt, the side that's toward me now, has two seams or two folds. The other side of the shirt that's away from me has all the other folds. I'm gonna go ahead and put one more fold in this star flower. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my shirt around and the side that's now facing me is the side that has two seams on it. That's going to be the inside of our star flower. So I'm going to grab the end of my fold and I'm going to begin to spiral it. And I'm going to spiral it in toward the side that has two seams. I'm going to turn my shirt around to get a better grip on it, but it's still going to spiral toward the side with the two seams. I'm also going to try to keep the spiral nice and tight. After I'm done, I'm going to tie it up with some kite string. For this shirt, I'm going to make it a patriotic star flower. So I'm going to use Dharma's Fire Red. And then for the blue, I have a little bit of Midnight and a little bit of Strong Navy. So I'm going to just dump those together and that's going to be my blue color. So before I begin dyeing, I'm going to take a washable marker and divide my shirt into sections. I started on the front and I wasn't really happy with the way I divided my shirt. So I just went ahead and I turned the shirt over and I divided the back into eight equal sections. And I'm going to dye every other section. So ultimately my goal is to try to leave half of the shirt white. I know that since I'm not using thickened dyes, less than half of my shirt is going to be white and that's okay, but I'm going to leave more white than I actually want on my shirt. So I'm going to start with the blue color and I'm going to dye two of the sections that are across from each other blue. Because I have such thick folds in this shirt, I really need to make sure I get it well saturated. However, because I want to leave quite a bit of white, 
I can't oversaturate my shirt or it's going to consume all of the white areas that I'm trying to leave. So there's a fine balance in there. You're just going to kind of have to get a feel for it. That's why I left a larger white space than I really want. So now I'm going to do the fire red. I'm going to do the two sections that are across from each other in fire red. So that'll leave four sections white. Once I have this side of the shirt done, I'm going to turn it over and do the other side. I'm going to ignore where I drew on my lines on the other side and just apply the dye the same way that I did on this first side. All right, so now that I have my dye applied, I'm going to lay this on a rack down inside of a tub and I'm going to let it process. I don't want to coat this in plastic or put it inside a Ziploc bag. If I did that, all of the areas that I'm trying to leave white would end up getting stained by either the red or the blue. So if I leave it on a rack, I have a much greater chance that my white is actually going to be able to stay white. Alright, so here's what the shirt ended up looking like. If you remember when I was dyeing the shirt, a lot of the blue and the red were already creeping over into the white area, and so I wasn't expecting a whole lot to probably be left. But I am happy with the fact that I got fairly good saturation in the red and blue areas. If you all are enjoying watching these videos, I sure would appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can do that really easily by just hitting the big red subscribe button. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.